hello and welcome to my channel tech and tips with king in this video i am going to show how you can run windows 7 in your android using box speed emulator application so without any wasting of time let's get into the video in this video i am going to show how you can run windows 7 in your android using box application in my previous video i have already shown that how you can run windows 10 in your android using box application so this is the box application so this is the another emulator for android this application is officially available on the play store you can check out the download from download from so in this video i am going to show how you can run windows 7 in your android using box pc emulator so first of all you have to download this application the application is available on the play store i've already told you and the second thing you have to download the windows 7 i also find the downloading in the description actually the uh, download link on my website and the website link in the description you have to first of all you have to get into my website and then you have to uh, download the you will get the download uh, windows 7 link so first of so let me just show you how you can run windows 7 in your android so after downloading both the things you have to install the application and you have to open the application after opening application as you can see at first it will look like this so you have to just click on the ata zero master and then you have to click on this click to cd rom just click click to select here you have to select the downloaded windows 7 as well so as you can see you have to select this as you can see i've already selected and at dawn as you can see there is a boot option so you have to click on the boot cd rom and you have to just click on the cd rom at first it will on the disk you have to select on the cd rom so we have done with the storage uh, options so you have to just uh, swipe right and there is a cpu you have to select the hardware cpu you have to select intel core i7 sandy bridge so this is perfect for for perfectly working for me you can change according to your smartphone or it will not work you can change the cpu it's up on you and ram you can select a maximum ram as you can see i have select set it as the maximum and chipset you have to select i440fx and vga you have to select uh, cyrus logic cl gc uh, 5446 you have to select this and voodoo ext card you have to select voodoo one and in sound card you have to select uh, creative sound blaster as you can see you have to select all this uh, in the hardware again you have to swipe to right and here you have to uh, select the VGA update frequency highest it will at first it will on the 12 maybe so you have to uh, increase it to, to 20 after selecting VGA update frequency to full then here as you can see there is option full screen just you have to check it on it so as you can see like this now we have done all the settings in the box application as you can see after doing all the settings you have to just click to start button after clicking start button it will going to landscape mode so just me just me let's show you so just click to start button automatically landscape mode so let me just uh, turn the android phone set up the camera and come back again so as you can see in the screen after clicking start button and showing after showing some commands just windows uh, it will saying starting windows and the windows 7 booting as you can see in the screen with the logo of the windows 7 so it will going to take lot of time about uh, 20 to 25 minutes so i am going to fast forward this video and come back after it's windows 7 fully loaded
so finally as you can see in the screen the windows 7 has been successfully loaded in android using box application so as you can see the box application is running and as you can see this is the mouse cursor it will take in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes to fully load in my android so it maybe can uh, take less time in your android or maybe more it will depend on your smartphone specifications so while double tapping or oh, while tapping on the thing on the screen with two fingers you can uh, get the full uh, more option of this windows so as you can see just now refresh with this so this is the fully working windows 7 as you can see in the screen uh, i find some problem in box emulator whenever i am booting any windows it will uh, booting windows in safe mode i have already made a video on how you can run windows 10 in that uh, uh, video you can clearly see windows 10 will boot uh, is booted was booted in safe mode and this is the windows 7 again it booted in the safe mode lot of people commenting in that video so that was the not uh, windows 10 it is uh, the windows xp you are telling that this is that is the windows 10 but it it's booting in the safe mode i don't know this is the problem of the box pc emulator application maybe it will going i'm going to fix in my future videos subscribe to my channel for more videos so as you can see in the screen so this is the fully working windows 7 but it's open in the safe mode so that's why the it will looking like windows xp but this is the windows 7 so as you can see this is the windows 7 so the, it will open in the safe mode so that's why it's looking like this while tapping on the screen with the two fingers you can uh, open the more options of the windows as you can see like this as you can see in the screen while single tap on the screen you can select the option so it's have preloaded software called 7 zip file manager and i'm going to open this so software and show you it's whether it's working or not at first it will taking some time to do any process in this windows 7 so let me just open this 7 zip file manager preloaded software with this windows 7 it will taking some time so let's see how much time it's take to open any software So as you can see in the screen it taken about uh, 10 to 15 seconds to open this uh, software so as you can see this is the preloaded 7-zip file manager software this is the preloaded software uh, of this uh, windows 7 so as you can see just now I've opened the software so it will showing operation is not supported so maybe it's have some bugs so as you can see in the screen just now i have opened a software and show you how much time it's taking to open any software and just now i've closed it so as you can see it comes with preloaded software so it means you can uh, use software in this so as you can see this is the fully working windows 7 running in android using box application so this is the basically box pc emulator for android so this is the another and the limbo is another there are a lot of emulators for android you can check out my channel there are a lot of videos on my channel so as you can see in the screen so this is the windows 7 fully perfectly working in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have any problem let me know in the comments i try to fix your problem thank you